Hello everyone, my name is Paweł Rymsza and today I will show you how to use Section Cut tool inside Twinmotion. So let's get started. First of all we go into Library, Tools, Sections and the Section Cube. So just drag and drop it onto the scene and here you can simply move it, you can also scale it down so to perfectly fit it into your scene you can move it around and the scale will also allow you to perfectly place it where you want it then you can change the thickness and in the end you can also invert the cut so you can see exactly the part which is being cut and you can then switch it back or you can work inside the cut and make it smaller or larger. And that's pretty much it. The function is pretty simple. Now I will show you advanced options. So the way it works is we take the section cut. So we simply select it, drag and drop it. And then we need to adjust its size. So what we are trying to achieve here is making it pretty much invisible so make it so small that it's not visible outside of selecting it however this way you can also hide items inside so let's move those books one meter and then we when we activate section cut those books are pretty much invisible. You can obviously manually place the section cut perfectly to match our books. All right, so as soon as we switch off section cut for now, we need to animate our books. So we go into animators and we drag one of the translators. Then I just rotate it 90 degrees to fit and change the distance to one meter because we moved our books one meter so now the translator is putting the book back to its shelf so it works pretty nicely obviously it repeats itself all the time so we need to go into translator and change a couple things first of all we're gonna change the speed so it moves faster and then we also need to change a trigger because we want it to activate at a certain time. So we're gonna keep the custom path activator and make the trigger zone smaller to one meter. Now we obviously need our activator. So we go into placement and we choose path, custom path, and we draw a very simple small Path. Now the box is moving and we're gonna obviously slow it down to 2 kilometers per hour and as you can already see our books are activating as soon as the box come closer to translator. So we select the translator and as soon as the box is closer our books are starting to move. So now we need to change animation from loop to once. This way the books are staying in place instead of moving back and forth. And we're also gonna increase the trigger zone to 1.5 meter. So now everything works correctly. We just need more activators. We can obviously drag all the books into a single translator but then everything moves at once and that's not exactly what we want right now. So instead what I'm gonna do is select the, the translator and we're just gonna copy it moving it 20 centimeters into one of the directions and I'm gonna copy it four times. So we have now five translators in total and now I'm just gonna distribute the books so each book goes into one of the translators and the effect is like you can see now it works perfectly 
Now we just activate section cube and the books are revealing itself. And that's pretty much it. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye bye.